What's up, Boopers? This video is the first of a series of guide videos intended to explain to you what Black Desert Online is all about. Now, I recommend watching them in order if you don't know anything about the game, but if you're looking for something in particular, you can click one of the links here. And keep in mind this game has a massive amount of content. I'm talking Skyrim level amounts of content. So in this video, I'll be covering leveling, combat, and progression systems in Black Desert Online. So let's get started. Boop. Firstly, let's go over leveling. Now, there is no level cap in this game at all, meaning you can level infinitely. But I've heard the soft cap happens around level 50 or 60 when leveling slows down significantly. I also noticed my talent tree will stop providing new abilities around level 55 except for a few bonus stat skills. So with that in mind, there are a number of ways to progress your character in Black Desert Online. We'll start with leveling your character. At the start of the game, you'll be given a black spirit that will teach you the basics of how to move, use game controls, etc. Now I recommend following your black spirit quests and town quests up until about level 15 where you should get your first mount. At which point, to level quickly, the best way is to just grind. Just grind like crazy. AoE grinding is extremely easy in the game and the combat is so smooth that it goes by fast. The game also has a knowledge mechanic implemented that makes it so that the longer you are grinding monsters, the easier it is to kill them. When you first encounter a certain monster type, its health bar will not move, only change colors. But once you raise your knowledge, you'll be able to see its health bar moving properly. Additionally, almost all monsters will drop a collectible item. This collectible item can be tracked in your inventory while you are killing that monster type. And once you have enough, you can also track down the turn-in NPC for that collectible item using the item and turn it in for some extra money, and sometimes other stuff as well. The item will always display on it how many of it you need to turn in, and this is a great way to make money while you are leveling. The only downside to this is that looting items in Black Desert Online is a bit of the pain in the ass, and will slow you down if you're interested in speed. You can counteract this by buying pets from the cash shop that will pick up items for you, or buy them off the auction house from other players, but they're usually really expensive. Still, it's a worthwhile investment if you want to level fast but not miss out on any loot. If you only grind to level, however, you will eventually be required to complete a quest at level 49 to be able to reach level 50. This quest is given to you by your black spirit but it has prerequisites of other quests. So while grinding, make sure you always complete all the Black Spirit quests along the way so you avoid getting stuck at level 49 and having to go back and do them. They often reward decent gear and tons of experience anyway, so it shouldn't slow you down that much. Now, there was a list of recommended locations to grind for each level posted on Reddit by a player named Remotrian and you can look at the map to get a rough idea of where you can go to grind for each level. But, any location with level appropriate monsters in large groups that respawn fast are pretty good places to grind. So you can experiment with this a bit and find places you like the most. And I'll put links in the description of this map for you to use later. Grinding levels will also grant you combat skill experience which will allow you to put points into more skills and power them up but you can also sometimes gain these from quests. Now, questing is very inefficient for leveling overall, but the quests provide other benefits. Some quests provide you with inventory slots, items, combat skill points, trading experience, and almost all of them provide contribution experience. So to quickly skip over the extra inventory slot quests, instead I will put a link in the description that will give you the location of all known inventory slot giving quests, that way you won't have to dig through the random quests to find them by talking to every single NPC you find. And I'd recommend trying to do these inventory quests as you level, as storage in this game is very valuable. The main reason to do quests, however, is to gain contribution points. Nearly all quests reward you with contribution experience, which once you accumulate enough will grant you a contribution point that you can use in the node and housing system that I will cover in the next video. Now, while some quests are series that can only be completed once, 
the vast majority of quests will respawn. Some will only come at night, some at day, some can only be completed at certain times as well, and etc. There's even quests based on the weather. So you won't want to do them all if you're looking to level fast, but you should do the quests in order to gain more contribution points or sometimes to even unlock nodes or use them to restore labor points back in between crafting if you run out or many other item rewards like potions and they give you tutorials the only thing you'll use labor points for leveling is when you want to rank up your skills anywhere in the world if you are too lazy to find a skill trainer actually doing quests in black desert online is very simple all NPCs will tell you exactly where to go and what to kill and you can use the auto move feature to run straight to objectives where any objective will be outlined in blue and have quest target above its head. The majority of the quests do just involve killing and there's rarely variations to this but if you enjoy the combat you will not get tired of doing them. So overall for leveling fast you'll want to grind and do your Black Spirit quests and search for the inventory slot quests along the way. If you want to be more efficient and gain contribution points along the way, you can also do easy quests or quests that are where you're grinding anyway. And if you want to increase your maximum labor along the way, just make sure to talk to every question mark NPC you spot. That's the basics for leveling through Black Desert Online. There are many other forms of progression that are specific to other aspects of the game, but I will cover those in videos more relevant to them, such as crafting and trading and horse riding, etc. For now, let's get into combat. In combat, you will have three resources, mana, stamina, and health. Stamina regenerates on its own, and you gain more in the game the more you use it, such as sprinting around the world or jumping up stuff, uh, yada yada yada. Health can be restored continuously by using potions every 3 seconds, and potions are often rewarded for quests or you can buy them from potion vendors pretty easily. Uh, so with these potions, you can grind to your heart's content with little to no downtime. And some skills will be using mana, and some skills will be using stamina, so alternating between them when the other is low makes for smooth sailing. Now, the combat is aiming style, not target based, and it does have an auto aim feature, but this feature can kind of be a hindrance when you're AoE grinding and trying to aim between monsters, as the auto aim feature will try to aim at one in particular, and it can sometimes make you miss other ones with your AoE. There are knockdowns, stuns, flinches, and monster collision, but overall, the combat feels very, very fluid. For your attacks, the game attempts to skill your abilities to a series of key combinations, such as Shift plus Q or S plus right click, giving it a very fighter game-ish feel. It has quite a big learning curve to learn all of your hotkeys, but it's extremely fun once you get used to it. As an alternative, you can also hotkeys your skills to 1 to 9, like most MMOs, but after playing with this game's combat for a while, I doubt you'll want to do that. Now, there is a cap on how many monsters in combat you can aggro, and if you try to aggro beyond this cap, it's about 6 or 8, the monsters will reset. This cap is based on the order you aggroed them, not to their proximity to you. So, if you have 8 guys chasing you a mile away, the monster right in front of you that you want to kill will just reset over and over again until you lose the other guys that are chasing you by killing them or leashing them. Now you do lose durability, and broken gear will look broken on your character, which is pretty neat. You'll also find your inventory fills up fast, or your weight limit fills up fast. Even having too much money hurts your character's weight limit, and once you hit a soft cap, you will not be unable to move at regular speeds, which is very annoying. So you'll want to regularly visit towns to sell stuff and put it in storage and repair. But for training skills, you can learn them wherever you want using the labor points, so you don't have to worry about going back to town for that. So I'll go more in depth in the combat when I start making class guides, but for now I hope this will give you an overview on how leveling works, how to level quickly. Next up we'll be talking about housing, nodes, and workers, but for now I am booping out. Boop.